hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we are talking about how we can deploy our laravel application using github actions on our server right so now the time is to create a create a database and connect it with our application right so let's uh, go to our this uh, project and here uh, let's me go to this service manager and here i'm going to open the mysql database right and i'm going to create a new dev database and then i will connect this with the, my application right it's very simple but i'm doing this for you so you can learn a lot and i have also full series on it that how you can deploy your laravel application on the server with the step by step guide right so here there are seven videos where i'm telling you uh, step by step that how you can create the subdomain how to deploy your project how to extract them how to change the env file and stuff like that right so here i'm naming this so uh, dev github actions right so create this database and i have already uh, databases that's why it is playing like this and then this one is a server name right server then database and username would be same and this would be password so just copy this and uh, go to this env file and here you need to uh, hit here db host right and then you need to type this so uh, laravel root and then you need to copy this password and save this also here right so it will uh, make the changes right perfect okay it's saved and here just go ahead and add this password right so i have added this password i'm not going to have to debug uh, pause because i want to test this out that uh, my application i have this so uh, uh, is there any issue right and here i'm going to uh, make sure that my application is connected so i want to run some uh, commands artisan commands in this application so how you can run that same commands how you can run the commands in your project so we'll also learn this in this tutorial okay just go to your route file and go to this web.php file and in the web.php file i'm going to create a new route which is responsible for migrating our database right so how you can run the migrate command so just to call this artisan call right and then this artisan call is responsible for uh, adding a command php artisan so you don't need to write php artisan and uh, rather than php artisan we need to enter the command i want to run php artisan migrate so i don't need to type php artisan and here i need to just type migrate right so i'm going to uh, comment this out i don't want to return this out save this one and it will migrate this out and after this i want to return some success okay save this one and uh, here i also want to open this uh, into the php my admin i want to show you that uh, how it's uh, look like it's basically an empty database but uh, whenever i will uh, perform the migrate it will create the table which comes by default whenever we install the laravel application right and uh, it's opening the php my admin and i will show you in a minute and guys if you want to learn more about laravel i have different playlists that uh, uh, how to uh, install the themes using wheat which is a new as bundler i have also laravel design pattern if you are structuring your larger getting a larger application in this way you can learn with a live example that how you can uh, structure your project if you are building a very large application uh, so here set up vs code if you are a laravel developer you must watch this series in the series i teach you that uh, how you can uh, make your text editor intelligent by adding the namespace at the top automatically by going to any of the files and automatic spacer and stuff like that right laravel pdf series where i'm uh, teaching you uh, very uh, from basics to advanced levels laravel 9 course where you will learn that what is uh, what are the components of laravel how to use them how then after this completing this series you will learn that how to create a full fledged system through this uh, through learning all of the steps you just go here let me go here and yes now there is no tables in this uh, database right and here if i go here and then just refresh it it will show the success and then yes success which means that our database is migrated 
so let's go comment this out and run this welcome and just go here and give it a refresh and it will show you that there are few tables like user tables personal access tokens and stuff like that right and yes users personal access token password reset and stuff like that so now you are sure that our application is connected with the database so in this way whenever you are doing uh, some other commits we can change your env uh, credential of uh, this uh, database and uh, you can do this through the github actions so hope you will learn a lot from this series and if you uh, if you want to support this youtube channel so subscribe and share it with your friends so then i will get more reviews and uh, and will shoot more courses like this right and if you like this video don't forget to share your feedback and i will meet you in the next series bye bye guys